Welcome to today's edition of Lady Shire Today. And we are still talking customer retention. So, how do we keep these customers? And how do we ensure that they continuously patronize us? We need to come up with a customer retention strategy. Okay, we just like you have your business strategy, you have to have a customer retention strategy. And you must be able to document that strategy. We need to be deliberate about these things and we need to set structures in place. Why do we set these structures? Because you that are running the business will not be there forever. And you need to have people that can continue the operations when you might not be available. So document it, document your strategy. So but of course, before you document it, you have to come up with a strategy. Now make sure that your strategy fulfills four characteristics or four, um, yeah, four characteristics. It should be simple, it should be impactful, it should be valuable and it should be personal. Those four things, simple, impactful, valuable and personal. You must make sure that your retention strategy is simple. It's simple for, to understand. It's simple for your staff to understand, for them to implement it. And it should also be simple for the customer to appreciate it. Don't complicate things. Don't put structures that are so difficult that, you know, the customer is thinking, what, 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 what are you trying to say? What do you mean? Okay, if I buy this, what do I get? It's going to be confused. Just keep it simple. Very, 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 very simple. Make it impactful. What impact is it going to have on your bottom line? What impact is it likely to have on the, on the life of the customer? Make it impactful. What value are you adding? So, is it convenience, for example? You could throw in additional delivery services. If you buy X amount, you get a free delivery. If you buy Y amount, we will add this. What value are you adding to your customer in creating this strategy? You need to clearly define the added value that you want to bring in. And then finally, make it personal. We are all human beings and we love to be appreciated. So does your customer. Whether you are serving a business organization or an individual, people are still behind it and those people would want to be valued and appreciated. So try to add some emotional attachment to whatever retention strategy that you are coming up with. Now, very quickly, we're going to look at three examples or three ways in which we can encourage our customers to continuously patronize us and i mentioned one earlier i said emotional attachment what emotional attachment are you creating around your brand around your products around your service why do people why should people want to come to you now you could start with the ambience of your office if it's a place where people have to actually physically come for example an eatery do people feel comfortable in your eatery is the atmosphere conducive do, can people come in, sit down and enjoy themselves while they're there? What's the service like? Can they take pictures? How about location? One thing that really upsets me in Nigeria generally is parking space. I get to a place and I can't find where to park. Or I get a place to park, then I have to now do um, another drive. I used to say I'm, I'm now, I have to test my driving skills to be able to maneuver and park the car. Yes, sometimes I go with my driver and so, okay, fine, I leave him to do the parking. But not everybody is going to come with his or her driver. And if I can't find where to park, I might not just come and patronize you. I might just go somewhere else where I can get a convenient parking space. So little details like this go a long way in ensuring your customers come to you. How about the conveniences? Is If you're, again, my example of an entry, do you have a very neat and tidy and convenient restroom? because some people might want to use it and if they get in there and it's, oh dear, this is a disaster, they might not want to come back again. So as mundane as these things might be, they can affect your bottom line if you're not careful. So what am I saying? Make sure that there is an, a physical appeal to whatever service offering. Create some emotional attachments to the brand. Make sure your customer service people are so lovely, so friendly, so helpful. People don't want to get into a bank for example and they have an issue and they can't solve it because the customer service people are just very you know very unpleasant yeah they might solve the problem but they might solve it in a way that they are unpleasant and customers don't like that 
So make sure that people are emotionally attached to your brand. They enjoy coming to you for whatever service you are rendering. The second thing is that you could create a loyalty plan. Again, make sure your loyalty plans are simple. Don't make them cumbersome and confusing. Customers will just be confused and they'll just tell themselves that, you know what, this loyalty plan, the drama is too much, is not worth it. So that's not, I will patronize you when I need to. If I don't need to, I won't patronize you. If I find a better alternative, they're off to the next, to your competitor. So make sure your customer loyalty plans are straightforward and simple. And then think quick wins. If I do one, two, three transactions and I can get a small benefit, I'm more likely to appreciate it than if I have to do 10 transactions before I can get the benefits. So think quick wins, three, four, five transactions, give the person some kind of benefits. He might come back for more, five, six, seven, eight transactions, another quick benefit. Fantastic. So think quick wins when you're thinking loyalty plans. And the last one, how about subscriptions? Can you create a subscription based product? Now, that is a very sure way of ensuring that people, you know, constantly put money into your, <laughs> into your, to your bottom line, so to say. If your product or service can be, you know, given on a subscription basis. However, if you're doing your subscription, you must continuously have updates and new products or new items or new services, such that each time I come back, I see something new. That would keep me paying for my subscription, knowing that, oh, they, they always come up with new things for me to benefit from. So that could be another way of keeping your customers loyal to you. I've done enough talking for today. If you have questions, you can post them in the comments. Please remember to follow me on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. If you want to see some of my past videos, um, past videos even on this particular topic, you can check them on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and we will talk more in my next video.